What's up, YouTube? It is Sunday, June 6th, I think. Could be June 7th. Let me check. June 7th. Days are just flying by, um, but that's life for you, right? But about to hit some back and biceps, which um, is my favorite day of the week. I don't know why. It's mostly because of the back stuff. Uh, not huge on like curling and stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still like it, but it's it's that kind of stuff's more of the boring stuff. But like the back, the pulling stuff, the rows, um, pull ups, pull downs, all that kind of stuff. I really like. So excited for that. Um, yeah, probably not gonna record anything just because. Um, it's just one of those days where I want to attack, not really worry about setting up my camera, but I, I could be wrong. I could end up recording a few things. It just depends on how I'm feeling today. But so I just got that going on about two o'clock. My friend, my good friend graduates from high school. So I'm going to try to make it to that. Um, pretty cool because when I was a senior in high school, he was a freshman. And now he's graduating, so it makes me feel real old. Um, so that's it. Um, not sure really what else is about to happen today. It's um, it's 68 and it's raining, so pre pretty much gonna be cloudy all day. Um, but that's really it for now. Nothing too exciting going on. Nothing crazy, just another day. Um, but, so that's it for now guys, I'll see you in a bit. Good news is, got the gym to myself, at least right now. We'll see if anyone shows up, but I'm just gonna make a habit out of this, weigh myself, keep you guys updated on my weight. Now, I'm anticipating me losing a little bit of weight, just cause I was under my calories slightly. Um, now I could've estimi estimated my calories a little wrong, so who knows, but that's just what I'm expecting. up 186.5 so really um from yesterday i probably lost a little bit of weight but from two days ago around that same about 185 186 which is actually what i want to be at so um at least until i start bulking so that's good um so i'll see you guys whenever not really sure but it's gonna be a surprise what's going on youtube so I'm on my way to the gym right now, uh, hitting some legs, squats, and stiff leg deadlifts. So I don't believe I put that in a video yet, so I'll probably add a few clips of that. Uh, so I got squats, dead, stiff legs, and then some accessory work and some calves. So I've been doing five sets of standing and seated calves on both leg days now. Before I would do five sets of standing on one of my leg days and then I would do uh, three sets of seated and standing on my other but now I'm doing five sets of each on both just because my calves are kind of stubborn some people might be able to get away with less training on their calves if you have good genetics in your calves for me mine are pretty stubborn so I gotta go uh, hard with them and I might even have to up the frequency a little bit to maybe three days a week. Now, two days a week's all right, but your calves can really handle being, you could really, you could literally do calves every day if you wanted and you'd be all right. But calf training is, I mean, I, I do it because I'm disciplined, but at the same time, it's like, who really likes training their calves? You know, not many people enjoy it. So um, just on my way, I'll keep you guys updated with my whole day. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. What's going on guys? So here's me squatting on my leg day the other day. 
doing five sets of eight to ten reps with 315 pounds so what I'm really focusing on right now is my depth I said that in the last video and um, that's gonna be my goal going forward with my squat so I'm hitting I'm pretty much hitting parallel every every single rep but I want to get a little bit lower than that um, so that's that's pretty much what I'm working on trying to go at a decent pace and trying to shorten my rest periods in between sets that's another reason I, I change my reps from five to eight on the squat at least on this day my other day has always been eight reps but now I have eight reps for both and then here's me doing some stiff legs so I choose to do a wider stance on these which just act activates the hamstrings a little bit more takes away from the lower back and you're pretty much just mimicking a toe touch here slightly touching at the bottom of the movement at the bottom of the range of motion and then coming back up going at a decent pace um, trying to feel it on the way down and on the way up but that's about it for that one so if you haven't tried that one out try it out it's great for the hamstrings but i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks guys what's up guys so as you saw just got some chipotle gains um, there's about 600 calories in that meal, 14 fat, um, 78 carb, and 47 protein. Now what I got was I got one serving of chicken, one serving of rice, one serving of black beans, one serving of tomato salsa, one of corn salsa, and one serving of lettuce. 600 calories, pretty low in fat, 14. Now sometimes you could go to Chipotle and get... 30, 40 grams in a burrito or a bowl if you if you get guac, sour cream, cheese, all that stuff. But I wanted to keep my fat a little lower, so I went without those things. Um, also, I'm kind of lactose intolerant, so I try to stay away from cheese as much as I can. I really like pizza though, so it makes it kind of difficult, but I already had some pizza today, so I kind of want to stay away from the extra cheese as well. But Good, good option for macros wise if you're going to Chipotle trying to keep your fat a little low try that out it's still pretty tasty too um, I know some people like to have cheese and all that stuff on there but it's still pretty tasty without so um, that's it for now though guys so stay tuned what's going on again guys so you'll see me here doing some reverse grip cable curls this is from my shoulders and arms workout the other day. Um, you could do the same exact movement with the barbell with the reverse grip or an easy bar curl with the reverse grip or a dumbbell, um, just a traditional dumbbell hammer curl, any kind of hammer curl. Um, but I really prefer this the most at the moment. So what I'm really focusing on on this is um, just my speed on the concentric on the shortening of the muscle and the eccentric on the lengthening on the way down most people neglect that eccentric part which is actually the the most well the second most in part most important part of the movement um, but behind the isometric part and they mostly focus on the concentric part of the movement on the way up and they really neglect that whole other half of the movement so that's really what I'm focusing on and then I'm super setting this with the overhead extensions with the cable. Now you could do the same movement with a French press with a dumbbell or even uh, skull crushers. I'm, I know a lot of people do those, but I really prefer this at the moment. So I'm doing five sets here of 12 reps. Um, the only thing, I probably wanna be getting a little bit deeper on the way down. I went up to 170 on these and I probably should just stick with 160 just because my range of motion was a little bit better, but still pretty decent. And then I finished out with dumbbell shoulder shrugs. Now I prefer to use dumbbells on these as opposed to barbells because when you use a barbell for these, you kind of get stuck by your torso. And what I mean by that is most people think your traps are just by your shoulders, but they actually extend about halfway down your back as well. So in order to work them properly, you got to pull upwards well, I should say not only upwards, but you got to pull backwards as well, as you kind of see with the bend in my elbow. And um, that's why the dumbbells are just a little bit more efficient, in my opinion. 
But that's it for the voiceover, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. And if you're still bleeding, you're the lucky ones. Because most of our feelings, they are. What up, YouTube? So I just left B-dubs, as you saw. It's about nine o'clock, um, but that's a wrap for the video. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>